Universal Interactive Studios. If I go to universalstudios.com right now, you think I can find information about The Mummy Returns from PS2? Features! Campaigns Six thousand years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Arm Shear. Gotta watch out for the Sumerians. Desert. On Death's Door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the Desert God. Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on earth could stop the supernatural warriors, and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis was returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Though thousands of years have passed since More then, story. history has a way of repeating itself. According to the calendar of the ancients, the year of the Scorpion is once again upon us. No. Though my old friends Rick and Evie, and now their son Alex, think only to spend their days in pursuit of knowledge and treasure, they will soon find themselves on the path of danger once more. Stumbling through the ruins of the ancient past, they uncover an accursed treasure that leads them to their destined place in the ultimate battle between good and evil. For the mummy returns. It's so dark in here, Rick. And yet, it's all so familiar. Uh, tell me, Sweet Pea, if this ancient temple has been sealed off from the world for a thousand years or so, why is there a burning torch right over there? Take your pick, darling. Could be grave robbers, treasure seekers, or just the eternal flame of the damned. Now you're talking! I pick grave robbers. Can we go now? I can hardly make out a single hieroglyph. And yet... Something tells me I've seen this all before. If that's actually Brendan Fraser, he did a bad job what, in his own voice. Sand? Scarabs? Scorpions? Darling, throw in an evil mummy or two, and you're basically describing our honeymoon. Scorpions? Where? Be careful, Alex. Oh, Mom, I'm always careful. Whoa! Alex, you all right? I think so. <coughs> I fell down some kind of steep chute and I can't get back up it. Sorry I broke the temple, Mum. Oh, Alex, can you tell me where you are? Can you see anything? Uh, not much. I'm in a huge room filled with giant statues. But I can't see much else. It's really dark in here. Don't worry, Alex. We'll be right there. We've Don't gotta worry, find our way down there. Come on, let's go. We're gonna get there soon, buddy. Right as soon as I finish this natty daddy tall boy. What the fuck? Oh!
The Scorpion King. Whew. I hate to think what's in there. Mom, Dad, I'm in here. Is that you? You've got to get me out of here. Alex, hang on. We'll hurry. I'm almost done with my natty daddy. It won't budge. All right. Let's try it your way. Can you read the instructions on this thing? There's something here about four keys. No, no, not keys exactly. Four immense rubies that act like keys. We've got to place them into this cartouche, and the Scorpion King will be appeased and let us enter. There. That doesn't sound so bad, Alex. We'll just go take a look around for those rubies and come directly back for you. All right. Let's do it. Take a look around for your movies.
dynamite. not the best game in the world. We got a, a character model that looks slightly off from Brendan. Rick, you can't we just run really fast and hope the arrows don't kill you. That sounds what off kind of plan from is that? Frazier. Hey, it's a plan. You got any better ideas? You've got to shield you yourself to somehow. Daddy, daddy. Find something you can use to block the arrows. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, I got feet. Shit, motherfucker! Jump!
Joan. Oh shit, motherfucker.
shit, I thought you were a motherfucker rolling up. It's so dark. Big yikes.
sort of Just hold on a second. We need Look, to have a conversation. This chamber is the final resting place of a most beloved servant of the Scorpion King himself. Apparently, he's some sort of guardian. Guardian of the keys, actually. And the rest is just a lot of the usual gibberish about how all who enter here will die a thousand deaths and... Gibberish? Hmm, maybe we should skip this room. Come on, we've got to find Alex. What the? One more tab. Shit, the torch makes everything so much easier. Strat, I guess.
That was the swing the sword button. Oh, whoops. Huh? <gasps> 
with the bad platforming in early PlayStation 2 games. Let's go.
Alex, you all right? Mom, Dad, I thought you'd never make it. Darling, don't worry. We're all together now. We'll be safe. Uh, don't make any promises you can't keep, sweetie. Look. What's this? The carvings suggest a sacred power, greater than can be known or imagined. That's great, honey. Honey! Uh, Mom? Oh my god! It's the mythical bracelet of the Scorpion King! The Benbridge scholar said it couldn't really exist, and yet here it is! That's what they said about this guy, and yet here he is too! Evie, run! Let's go. Kid. Or a, her kid, or somebody's kid. Slice and dice. Let's go home now, Rick. Really, I want to go home. Yeah, honey, sure. just lug that big this box of stairs. I just uh, slayed me and spiders. I'd hate to just walk away from all this. Rick, don't make me beg. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Arriving back in Britain after their narrow escape from the temple ruins, Rick, Evie, Jonathan, and Alex are surprised by Mila, 
and a group of Imhotep's red turbans. Alex is the first to realize that they're after the bracelet box his family brought back from the temple. Hoping to ruin their plot, Alex puts on the bracelet found inside the box and replaces it with a heavy vase. Mila and the red turbans kidnap Evie and steal the useless box. Thinking they have finally found the bracelet, yet all is not lost. Alex recognizes that one of the intruders is actually the curator of the British Museum. Hot on the trail, the group sets off to make their way to the famed museum. Arriving there, Alex and Jonathan are left in the car, while Rick and Ardith sneak inside the museum to get Evie back. Did you see open the window for you? Stop Mila and the red turbans along the way. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna rip apart every inch of this place until we find my wife. That is your plan? You got a better one? Where I come from, we would just ask him. Get out of here! Get out while you still can! It's chaos! The basement's full of dark creatures, strange fellas in red turbans, and they're all armed. Every one of them! They're up to some kind of strange ceremony, and all I know is I'll be damned if all the museum's displays are coming to life. I know it sounds daft, but it's like the whole place is under some kind of spell or something. How do we get to the basement? Well, you'd have to ask Roger about that, wouldn't you? Seeing as he's the only one with the key to the basement level. Where is this Roger? Well, you'd have to ask Charlie about that, the old mule, seeing as he's the only one with the key to the second floor. Who said anything about the second floor? We're trying to get to the basement. Don't get snippy with me. I'm under a considerable deal of stress at the moment. Roger's up there on two. That's where he works. So, where's Charlie? Oh, he's hiding down here somewhere, scared witless. That old mother hen. You won't be seeing old Charlie till you've cleared every threat of danger from this floor. Destroy everything. Make it good and safe down here. Then the old goat will come creeping out and act like some kind of hero or something. Enough said. Good luck then. My shift's over. I'm getting out while I still can. Did you get any of that? Something about a mule, a goat, and a hen. Like an ancient proverb. We gotta find the guards and get upstairs to get access to the basement. And then, we just gotta stick to the original plan. Rip this place apart while we look for my wife. You are wise, Rick O'Connell. I'm as wise as your sword has been. Which is a lot. In the name of my dark lord Imhotep, I will crush you like a desert mouse. Trouble. Something very bad is happening here tonight, O'Connell. I fear the worst. Oh! 
Must be Charlie. Depends on who's asking. I am Charlie. I'm asking you to get your donkey's butt upstairs and unlock the floor so I can get the guy up there to let me into the basement, where the odds are growing by the minute that an undead mummy is harassing my wife. Not a chance! No way! I'm not coming out of here! You won't get any help from me until this whole floor looks sleepier than a Sunday school. All right! Quit whining. I'll see what I can do. And then you're walking me upstairs, Charlie. Spooks or not. And save me life.
open the door. But you've done saved me life. Open the door. Blimey, I can't believe you two. We haven't got time for this, old boy. Now where exactly on the second floor is Roger? I can't be entirely sure. Hiding, that's for certain. But where? I don't know. Well, your safest bet is if you clean up that floor the same way you did here, Roger will likely pop up. Just make sure it's safe. You guards are funny little men. What do they pay you for? Not fighting villainous creatures, that's for certain. I'm going home. O'Connell, your wisdom shines again. All we've been doing is ripping this place apart. And we'll do it some more. Let's clean up the second floor and look for that guard. He'll be hiding, so we should check anything suspicious. Must go back for a second.
Listen, do you hear that? The chanting. Those are Imhotep's priests. They must have Evie downstairs, just as we suspected. Ah, we really need to get that basement key. Roger, that you? Go away! Listen to me, I need to get into the basement. It's very important, Roger. I think my wife is in danger. I'm not coming out of here until they've gone. Every last one of them. The creatures, they're horrible! <sighs> All right, we're on it. Stay here, we'll be back for you. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere.
You could see. Just give me the key to the basement. Right, here you go then. You're on your own. No way I'm going down there. I think that's the way I'm going anyway. Where is supposed to go? Oh. 
I think that's a good spot to stop for now. We'll get back at it for sure. Got it. Back in the saddle, gonna beat up in my tab. So, so yeah, I got a guy's head. Evie! Mummies. Did I mention I hate mummies? I don't think he likes you much either. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Oh, motherfucker. Thank motherfucking you, my Emotep. Your master has awoken. Emotep. We are too late, O'Connell. The creature <clears throat> has risen. You! This time I want him dead. <laughs> Oh, I'll stay up here. Oh! 
so hard he's suspended in midair. We have no choice but to destroy them, or we will never get out of here alive. I'm fine. Let's see. You've been kidnapped, tied to a sarcophagus, and by all accounts, you're about to be digested by a mummy. Don't be silly, sweetheart. He has no digestive organs. They're probably all tucked away in some long-lost canopic jar somewhere. Morbid. from my powers. Why do you challenge my greatness? Mom! Dad! Don't let them take me! Oh, Alex. <laughs> no! Alex! Getting to the museum basement in the nick of time, Rick and Ardeth are able to save Evie. However, amidst the fray, Imhotep and Mila discover that Alex is carrying the bracelet <coughs> after all. Brushing Jonathan aside, Mila and her henchmen kidnap Alex. When Ardeth tells a worried Rick and Evie that the bracelet is going to lead Alex, along with Imhotep and his minions, to the Golden Pyramid of the Scorpion King, they set off after him, headed for Cairo. We'll never find him here. This is futile. I need to stop and catch my breath. We have many allies here, O'Connell. Do not despair. Cairo has long been a stronghold for the Magi. My men have established a safe house in the hotel. 
I will take Evie there to get some rest. She will be safe there. I'll keep looking for Alex. You must search the entire town. He could be anywhere. You shouldn't have too much difficulty getting around town. But when you get to the docks, you will have to bribe your way past the guards. They are men of little honor. The second you find out anything about Alex, or if you see Imhotep or his men, come find us back at the hotel. Yes. Do not try to rescue Alex without me. This is my town, and you will need my help this time. But hurry, Rick. Oh, Night is this. falling, and Alex will be scared. And I'll be scared for him. He's got good form. Look at that spin kick. Ooh, spinning heel kicker right to the mouth. Ooh. Perfect. Here's to be a guy with a gun. Oh. 
Let's clap cheeks, let's go. What are you doing back here? Have you found Alex? No, what are you doing in the bedroom alone with my wife?
important. Waking up myself. Go to sleep. Just pretty good. Oh, is fish waking you up? You're squeezing me too hard. Sorry, this area is restricted. No public access. That's right. I almost forgot. You are men of little honor. What can I offer these guys? <laughs> Let you through for that little... Ha! I'm not running a charity. Purplish area. 
We're just gonna slay. We're just gonna slay. table for you already.
you through for that little Oh! <laughs> 
I never saw you. You were never here. Now go on. Hurry on your way.
I've seen Alex. He's being held at the train station. We've got to go after him before it's too late. Evie, stay here. You will be safe with the Magi. No harm will come to you on their watch. O'Connell, night has fallen. The streets of Cairo would not be safe for her tonight. We must exercise extreme caution. The creature is in our midst. People, look at their faces. Imhotep has made so.
right. and it's been sprung, hasn't it? Oh! 
in plain sight. Imhotep and Mila still manage to get away. But Rick has become even more determined to get his son back. Knowing that the mummy is headed for the Golden Pyramid, Rick convinces his longtime friend, Izzy, to pilot the group to the hidden oasis in his trusty dirigible. Yet, as our heroes near the horizon of their destination, Imhotep discovers them and sends a cursed wall of water crashing towards them to bring them down. Eventually caught by the rising flood, the dirigible plummets down into the miraculous jungle. A jungle that exists in the desert, part of the hidden sacred oasis surrounding the mythical Golden Pyramid. Is everyone all right? We don't have time to stop and lick our wounds. Alex is out there, and we've got to find him before it's too late. She's right. We have got to keep moving. This is Arm Shear. The army of Anubis will spring from this oasis. I must go warn the Magi. Stay with me, my friend. Just until we find Alex. I can't do it without you. All right. We move forward. But, split up. Look. We know Imhotep is headed for the Golden Pyramid with the boy. He's right. 
we find the way to the Golden Pyramid, we it's find Alex. But be careful. Say, the jungle hides here. many dangers. Featuring Brendan. What the? Frozer. Be careful. I'm serious. <laughs> this is not your same old average booby trapped Brandon ancient Frozer. temple. Those were sharp logs. Evie. Maybe you and Jonathan should stay behind until I find a safer way. Yes, thanks. What an excellent plan, Rick. I have a nice look around the jungle, and when you found the they easiest did exactly between what you're here and there, to do, and they Jonathan, to find voice don't be such that a wimp. Like we have no time for this, O'Connell. If we are to find your son, we must body. hurry. Don't mind us. We can find our own way through the jungle. Watch, like, Come Spanish along, Jonathan. Movies, we'll meet up with them at the Golden Pyramid. Uh, sound like, I like liked his plan the George better. Clooney Spanish voice actor doesn't sound like George Clooney, but his voice fits George Clooney's look. So it works. <laughs> but this guy, they found like the guy that sounds the least like Brendan Fraser. Not that he sounds different, he just... Out of, like, everybody that auditioned to sound like Brendan Fraser, they picked the guy that sounded the least like them. <laughs> he honestly just sounds like a college guy who try uh, wants to rip Natty Daddies all day. Which, I mean, I guess, kind of Brendan Fraser. I was gonna say, we are talking about Encino Man, right? <laughs> Airheads. Blast from the past. This is actually one of the worst rated games for the PS2 by both critics and fans. Wow, so it's gonna go down in history of being like the ET of Atari? I didn't say the worst. I said one of the worst. just repeated and um but so the neighbor kids ended up going to college at one point and they came and dropped off their box of ridiculous atari games and because that was back when you had to like grow out of video games and so, <laughs> and so that's how we ended up with et and i only got like three screens and we literally can't i don't know how to how to get past like third screen Yeah, I just 
I just saved Evie and now I'm trying to go save Alex. <laughs> Stop Imatep from becoming a whole person or whatever. I think this is the one where he sucks all the people. Out. Or maybe that was both of them. Turns or am I playing Turok? Well, actually, Turok is about dinosaurs, not just basic jungle wildlife.
That's not where we're going. But seriously, what the shit? sort of graveyard. My fucking seem pretty fucking mad about it. Oh, 
to you up there, okay? supposed to be going Good. Sword. 
my first left. I'm thinking my second left. Go this way, take the bridges out. feel bad about knocking out the entire uh, tribe of indigenous people here, but they just won't stop throwing darts at me. Oh my god! What they did to your logo last night. This is all in the desert. Trees, pygmies, poison water. Oh. 
Alex! Dad! Dad! Listen to me! The bracelet! It's going to kill me! I've got to get inside the Golden Pyramid by sunrise! Dad! That's right now! You've got to get me inside the pyramid before the sun touches it! You okay, Alex? Yeah, thanks, Dad. <sighs> you know, it's hard being a dad. Ah! Mom! Oh, shit. This is just Davey. fucking no! killed the bitch. And by the bitch, I mean my wife. Evie has been slain by Mila, and everyone is at a loss. Time seems to be at a standstill as the morning few surround Evie in shock. Our hero, Rick, is driven all the more, driven by revenge, driven by rage. Knowing that Imhotep intends to raise the Scorpion King and steal his mythical army, our hero follows Imhotep through the Golden Pyramid down to the Netherworld. He will send the mummy back to the spirit world, or die trying. Watch over Alex for me, Jonathan. It's time to end this game. Oh, thank God. Imhotep! I'm coming for you, old friend! It's time I sent you back to hell! Again!
myself. Stupid.
has been slain by Mila, and everyone is at a loss. Watch over Alex for me, Jonathan. It's time to end this game. <laughs> That is the door to the netherworld. No mortal can cross over. Not until you capture the four amulets held by the Anubis commanders. But the living do not often survive the Anubis. <laughs> I will fight you in the netherworld, if you live long enough. Until then, I will laugh at the memory of your beloved. <laughs> You're gonna regret that. That guy gets a little cardio. Oh. 
So you are strong, Rick O'Connell. Good. There will be less shame in my victory. More honor in your death. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to count your chickens before they're hatched? It's bad manners! Rick O'Connell, do not you talk about my mother or chickens. with an Anubis head.
Damage. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just Hello. carrying the <laughs> And holy mackerel! Carrying the Anubis head. <laughs> Though winning his fight with Imhotep, Rick has not reached the mummy in time to keep him from summoning the Scorpion King. With the mummy lying in tatters before him, Rick is left to peer into the dismal abyss of the Scorpion King's lair, knowing that if he is to save the world, he must face what lies beyond. The Scorpion King waits.
The scepter of Osiris! Oh, steady, old boy. Yeah. Damn, missed. Son of a bitch, Jonathan. Oh, my God. 
Is that it? Did we do it? Rick, you did it. Evie, you're... it's... you. Alex used the Book of the Dead. He stole it from Mila and brought me back to life. Using perfect ancient Egyptian, I might add, he'll make an excellent Benbridge scholar one day. I thought... Shh. Can we go home now? Amidst the chaos, Alex grabbed the Book of the Dead from Anaxuna Moon and used it to resuscitate Evie. Then, with Imhotep defeated, the Scorpion King destroyed, and our heroes united. The hidden oasis destroys itself, drawing the vast jungle into a single vortex created by the pyramid. It doesn't look good for Rick and his family as they struggle to the top of the pyramid, until Izzy and his battered dirigible emerge from the horizon. As my valiant friends make their escape, and sail safely away from the destroyed oasis of Arm Shear. The world is as it should be. Evil has once more been conquered. Good has again prevailed. And I will continue to watch over the sands of Egypt, always ready for the day when it may return. We still got to do the Imhotep campaign. 